Right, I thought I'd try making a little video about how I'm trying to repair my down-filled sleeping bag. It's years old, very comfortable, I love it to bits, so for me it's worth trying to actually fix it. The two main things that um, that I've been trying to sort out is that, uh, are that um, the inside of my tent is like a snow dome in the morning because it's just absolutely leaking feathers. Uh, and the last time I washed it, certain of the chambers just en ended up completely empty. Um, so I wanted to stop the snow dome effect and I wanted to refill some of the empty chambers. And I decided that the snow dome effect on this sleeping bag was mostly coming from the seams, which are um, slightly elasticated on one side of the sleeping bag. Oh, this is the outside of the sleeping bag. Um, and I thought, I mean, if 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 the elast if the elastic seams are continuing to move, then the holes are continuing to be, continuously being opened, right? Um, so it just it's uh, it's kind of like a bellows effect, and it just it just lets the little bits down escape far too easily. So I thought I'd try some of excuse me this stuff. The um, it's the McNett seam grip. I, I mean, I'm sure you can use other seam sealers as well, but this one, um, I've used it in the past and I find it to be uh, nice and flexible. So, whilst you'll see, you can see that I've actually done the seams already on this, I started doing it really, really tidily with like a toothpick and stuff. And that did my head in, so I just slathered it on. I needed to do all of this, all of it, and it would have taken me ages if I'd just been doing it really, really carefully. So I didn't need to cover every single hole, I just wanted a reduction in the snow effect. So I just kind of slathered it, yeah, here and there along the seams. Um, it didn't take me long once I really stopped caring how tidy it was going to look. Um, and the last time I took it out, it was much, much better. There was a lot less of the snow dome effect. Um, and it wasn't uncomfortable. It admittedly looks pretty crap, but I really don't care when I'm, you know, it's winter and I'm sleeping in a tent. I really don't care if my um, sleeping bag is extremely tidy or not. So the next thing I thought I'd try and do is fix the, or refill, refill some of the empty uh, chambers. And on this one, um, I've got about 11 of them, I think, that are pretty much empty. Well, 10 now, because I've already done one and it worked. Um, so I'm going to show you, if I can, how I've gone about doing that. Okay. For starters, um, I'm in my bathroom. I picked that tip up someplace else because I thought if I'm going to be possibly unleashing down, I um, would rather it in a confined tiled space. Um, I needed down. I didn't want to buy new stuff. This is an old sleeping bag. I didn't want to spend a fortune. So what I did was I went on eBay and found myself a an old donor jacket filled with good quality down that I can um, just simply use the down from. Um, I tried to find a, a damaged one so that uh, you know I'm not cutting up something good. The next thing I, I tried to figure out how to actually get the down uh, from the, the donor jacket to the sleeping bag and I decided that um, a tube, this is just a bit of uh, plastic piping that I found and chopped a bit up. It seemed like it would be about the right diameter so that I didn't end up with too big a slice in my sleeping bag that it would need to be repaired and um, yet big enough to actually allow the down to be sucked through when I use my vacuum cleaner. That's what I was doing down there. Vacuum cleaner on low and a small slice in the chamber I want to fill, a small slice in the chamber I want to extract from, put the two together, and use the vacuum cleaner to create suction, 
but not up against the tube through the fabric so that the cha chamber gets a vacuum inside it sucking the down through. It's mostly empty, I've still got a bit more to go, but a lot of it's coming through into this side, fluff it about a bit, I can always take some more out of another chamber if I need. Okay, that chamber is now full, was empty, is now nice and fluffy, and the donor chamber that I was using is nicely empty. So I've got this uh, small tear, which I just need to stitch up, and... I will make a complete hash of it, but it'll it'll work. And then I'll put a little bit of the uh, the seam grip over the top to make sure everything stays in there. And I look forward to having my lovely sleeping bag back, nice and warm for the winter. <laughs>